Hey, it's Clan. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame that is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday and wanted to just kind of quickly recap because yeah, you gotta give some credit where credit's due. The bulls were actually showing some signs of life from where it was here. The price started to bounce, started to show, you know, maybe some upwards progress. But now you look at where the price closed today, uh, you know, at this point right there and you kind of could just correspond that over here with where the price has been. And sure, it's not as you know down low as it's been in the, pos or in the past, but point is the price is essentially right back inside of this range where it was before the nice move upward started. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that actually have genuine strength are not gonna be going back to where they were. And that's essentially what's happened here. The price has gone back to where it was. So that nice move earlier from a couple of days, yeah, there was no actual power behind it. In the in trading lingo, we would call that essentially a dead cat bounce. Now, I'm not saying that in a whole nother move can't start or anything like that. I'm just saying that, you know, kind of got the answer or the question answered about the movement earlier that there wasn't any true strength behind it. Because again, for the very common sense goal point of, well, if there was true strength behind it, it would not be sitting, you know, right back to where it all started. Now, I did comment which is still you know, very much possible, that yeah, the price can put together a whole nother move. But the level that really seems to be just a massive thorn in the side of the chart right now is that purple line there, which is not shocking. That's the famous 50 period simple moving average. I mean, you go back through the history of things, you can see right here, a bunch of history of it knocking down the price, You know, right there, knocking down the price. Sure, the price actually broke above it a few times there, but that didn't last very long. Knocked down the price, knocked down the price. Today, gapped up above it, but that didn't last very long at all, and the price once again is down below there. So yeah, point being, you know, public enemy number one going forward is definitely that purple line there, the 50 period simple moving average. As far as levels of support are concerned, key level still being down there at 30 cents. Uh, you know, the bears have not been able to press it down any further from where it was, you know, back at that portion of the chart. So 30 cents, uh, very important level of support next week and very important level of resistance. Again, that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. So yeah, dead cat bounce from earlier, but who knows, maybe the bulls have something else up their sleeve this upcoming week. We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.